Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make some kawaii melting bear ice cream designs using polymer clay. So let's get started. To begin, you want to take the color that you would like to use for the ice cream. The first one I'm going to be making is the light blue bear. I rolled my polymer clay into a ball and then here I'm just attaching it to the end of my rolling pin so that I can easily access all sides of the clay and move it around. To begin creating the shape of the ice cream, you want to take a needle tool or a similar tool and pull down the bottom portion of the clay and then you can use your needle tool to swirl the clay around and give it an ice cream like texture. To add some texture to the top part of my ice cream scoop, I'm going to be using a ball of aluminium foil and I'm just pressing this gently onto the clay. Then I also followed that up using the bristles of my toothbrush as well, just to give it some finer texture. Next up, I'm gonna be turning my ice cream scoop into a bear. So here I'm creating one of the ears and I'm rolling a piece of clay into a teardrop shape. And then I'm attaching on a smaller pink teardrop shape and cutting off the bottom point so that I have a flat surface to work with. You'll then want to attach this to the ice cream scoop and you only need to make one ear for this particular design because the other side of the head is going to be covered up with the ice cream cone. For some extra security and strength, you can also blend down the edges of the clay as well. Now we're going to move on to making the face. So I'm starting off with a white piece of clay and I'm flattening it into an oval shape. And then this is going to become the nose part of the bear. So you can see that I'm placing this little piece of clay right in the center of the face and I'm just pressing it down. I then created two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then I added in two balls of black clay. I made two thin U shapes of black clay and I placed these in the center together for the mouth. I finished that off with another little piece of black clay for the nose and then I added two balls of pink clay on either side for the cheeks. I then very carefully removed my bare ice cream scoop from the end of my rolling pin by sliding my blade underneath the clay and slowly lifting it up. For the pink bear design, I'm giving it a kind of hot melting look face, almost like the emoji. So here I've added some little curved down eyebrows above the eyes. I've also added a small little blue teardrop as a bead of sweat, plus a little pink piece of clay for the tongue sticking out of the mouth. Next, we're going to move on to creating the ice cream cones. So here I have some vanilla colored clay as well as a plastic plate, which I use for my waffle cone texture. I used my rolling pin to flatten the clay down on the plastic plate. And here you can see that the texture has come off onto the clay. I then used a circle cookie cutter and I pressed this into the polymer clay and then just removed the excess. Next, we wanna use our blades to cut this circle into quarters. And although mine were exactly quarters, they were close enough. And then to create the shape of the ice cream cone, I'm actually rolling it around the end of my piping tip to get the cone shape. And then I'm just pinching the edges together so it stays nice and secure. While the clay is still attached to the end of my piping tip, I'm going to take my mixture of brown chalk pastels and a fluffy paintbrush. And I'm using this to add some shading to the clay to make the waffle cone look like it has been cooked and nice and golden. Once you've done that, you can then repeat the process with the other waffle cone as I am here. Once you've created both of your waffle cones, you can then position them onto your bare ice cream scoop. And I have them hanging off on an angle, as you can see. The last thing we need to do is create the melted ice cream. So to do this, I'm going to be using some Sculpey Bacon Bond. And this is a liquid clay, which is my preference because it's a much thicker consistency and easier to control. So here I'm adding the color to the liquid clay just using some chalk pastels. And I'm trying to match the colors to my scoops of ice cream as close as possible. Here you can see that I'm adding my liquid clay onto some sheets of baking paper and I'm spreading it out so it kind of looks like a blob. And I'm doing the same thing with the pink ice cream as well. If you don't have Sculpey Bacon Bond and you do choose to use another type of liquid clay, it might not be as easy to control the shape of the blob, but it is still possible. Mm -hmm. 
It's then time to grab the bare ice cream and add it into the center of the liquid clay. And then I went ahead and put it straight into the oven so that the liquid clay wouldn't spread out too much and that it would keep its shape. Of course, if you want to turn your designs into a charm, you'll want to add an eye pin before you pop them into the oven. So I did go ahead and glaze the ice cream part of my charm, but I did forget to film that part. So here are what my two finished designs look like. I really love the way these turned out and I think they're super cute. I think my favorite would have to be the pink design with the little overheated facial expressions, but let me know down below which one you like the best. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!